Have you ever wondered how the stunning digital art you on social media is created? Welcome to the world of digital art where creativity meets technology. It fuses traditional artistic methods with the possibilities of the digital realm. Artists are now able to paint and without limitations. If you're curious too, then you're in the right place. Before we start creating, it's crucial to understand the tools needed. A digital artist needs specific hardware and software to bring their ideas to life. The cornerstone of your digital art setup is a graphic tablet. This device is your canvas, allowing you to draw directly on the screen. There are various options from budget-friendly to high-end models with advanced features. A good tablet should have a responsive interface, enabling you to create freely. You'll need a stylus, your brush. This tool should feel comfortable in your hand, have pressure sensitivity for varying line thickness, and perhaps tilt recognition for a realistic drawing experience. Now let's talk about software. Each digital program has its strengths. Adobe Photoshop is a versatile program offering tools for photo manipulation and digital painting. Adobe Illustrator is more towards vector art, allowing for sharp lines and resizable artwork. Procreate is another popular choice, especially among iPad users. It's known for its user-friendly interface and wide brush library making it a favorite. These are merely examples. The best software depends on your personal preferences, your art style, and what you find intuitive to use. Remember, the tools don't make the artist. The artist makes the tools. It's not about having the most expensive setup, but understanding how to maximize what you have. With the right tools at hand, we're ready to commence our digital art journey. Every masterpiece begins with a sketch. In digital art, sketching is a crucial first step. It's the blueprint for your artwork. Like an architect uses a blueprint or a chef follows a recipe, your sketch serves as a roadmap for your creative journey. In this phase, you create the basic shapes, forms, and composition. This isn't about perfecting details, but about exploring options. It's about producing a rough visual representation of your thoughts. Why is this process so crucial? The sketching phase is a playground for experimentation, where you can freely make and learn from mistakes. It's a stage where you can toy with different ideas, views, and layouts before finalizing one. It's where your creative instincts take the front seat. Imagine you're hiking. You wouldn't wander aimlessly, right? You'd likely follow a map or a trail. That's what your sketch is, a map guiding you through the wilderness of your imagination. Sketching is a flexible process. You can modify, erase, redraw, resize. The digital canvas is at your disposal. It's a forgiving practice that allows you to fine-tune your vision until it matches your imagination. Besides, sketching is a powerful instrument for enhancing your artistic skills. It trains your eye to recognize shapes, forms, and proportions, sharpening your observational skills. It helps you comprehend light and shadow, line work intricacies, and composition dynamics. When starting a digital art piece, don't hasten to the coloring and detailing. Take time to sketch. Give yourself the liberty to explore, to experiment, to err, and to learn. The sketching phase isn't just about tracing lines on a canvas. It's about understanding your subject, exploring your ideas, and laying a firm foundation for your masterpiece. A solid sketch is the backbone of your digital art piece. Time to infuse our sketch with life using colors. The coloring stage in the realm of digital art is quite a spectacle. It's akin to adding melody to a mute film or flavor to food. It imparts depth, stirs emotions, and injects personality into the sketch. You may wonder, how does one approach coloring? It's a synergy of selecting apt colors, mastering their application, and decoding the impact of various color combinations. Commencing with color selection, it's not about randomly picking colors, rather it involves contemplating the ambiance you aspire to create. To depict tranquility and serenity, cooler shades like blues and greens are advisable. Alternatively, for a lively spirited display, lean towards warmer shades such as reds, oranges, and yellows. Once the colors are chosen, it's time for application. This part is engaging and enjoyable. Use the paintbrush tool for broader regions and the paint bucket tool for smaller spaces. Be daring and play around with opacity and blending settings. Adjusting these effectively can yield awe-inspiring effects and seamless transitions between colors. The next subject of discussion is color combinations. This is where we embrace color theory. Complementary colors, positioned diametrically opposite on the color wheel, induce high contrast and can make your artwork stand out. Analogous colors, adjacent to each other on the color wheel, create a harmonious, soothing effect. The color palette you opt for will dramatically influence the overall vibe of your artwork. 
It has the potential to turn a humble sketch into a vibrant, dynamic work of art or a soothing, tranquil vista. Hence, spend quality time in this phase. Experiment with different shades and combinations to discover what resonates with your vision. Though the coloring phase isn't merely about filling in the lines, it's about breathing life into your art. It's about evoking a mood, establishing the tenor, and narrating a story through the medium of colors. Coloring not only brings your art to life but also sets the mood and tone of the piece. Details make a difference. They can turn a good piece into a great one. We're going to delve into the elements that make your digital artwork stand out. Let's talk about detailing, the stage where your work truly imagine yourself as a sculptor. You've formed the broad features of your masterpiece, and now it's all about adding the fine details that will elevate it. Similarly, in digital art, we've shaped the basics. Now it's time to embed the details that enhance depth and dimension. The detailing phase means adding shadows, highlights, and textures. These are not just about realism, but also about appeal. First, shadows. Shadows lend depth, define form, and suggest space. To craft shadows, choose a color darker than your base color. Apply this color where light is blocked or less likely to hit. Then, highlights, they're the opposite of shadows, representing areas where light is strongest. For highlights, use a color lighter than your base color, applying it to areas directly lit. Let's discuss textures. They add realism to your piece, whether it's the roughness of stone, the smoothness of glass, or the fluffiness of a cloud, Textures are created using varied brushes and techniques to simulate the object's surface. Details are everything in digital art, requiring patience and precision, but the payoff is always worth it. They convey the mood, atmosphere, and the narrative of your work. As it is, they add character to your art. With the right details, your digital art piece will look more professional and polished. So take your time, focus on the minutia, and witness your art transform from good to great. Remember, every stroke counts, every detail matters. Now it's time to give your artwork the final touches and prepare it for the world to see. This stage is where you review and refine, making any necessary adjustments. A dash of color here, a tweak in the lighting there, changes that can make a difference. This phase is akin to adding icing on the cake. It's the point where your unique style and personality come into play. Once satisfied with your save and export it, depending on the platform you might choose different formats. High resolution PNG for a print, Compress JPEG for online sharing. Select the format that suits your display needs. And there it is, your very own digital art masterpiece. Creating digital art might seem intimidating at first, but don't be discouraged. We've explored the essentials from sketching to coloring and detailing, finally exporting the masterpiece. Each step refines your digital artistry infused with your unique personality. Every artist was an amateur, so start creating and let your imagination run wild.